There's a carbon casing right there. Flying turtles. Look from above, look. Ah. He came out, did you see him? Oh, it's so cool. Whoa. Oh, crap. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my God. Catch him up. We have all of our koi well trained guys. They're starting to eat out of our hand, even the orange one that we just caught guys. So I'm super excited. I'm a little worried because I haven't been able to find Timmy, the other koi that we had. I don't know, I think someone might have nabbed that one and took it to a golf course or something. But I'm super happy with the koi that we have. Thank you so much, Anthony, again, a subscriber that gave me all those little koi that are super evil and eat goldfish. But check it out, guys. We have these little turtles right here. They were super, super dirty water, like overnight dirty. They have this little bit of a... Ugh. I'm not sure what's that, it's just gunk on them, but it doesn't matter guys, they need fresh flowing water, they need a good filter, and I'm going to take care of that for my mom. These guys, as you know, are named Fabio, that's Fabio right there, and we have Vivian guys, Vivian and Fabio guys, yeah, so together, they're a happy pair, I'm not sure, actually, they could both be girls or could both be guys, but I'm right 50% of the time in this case. Although it's 2019, I'm not sure what these turtles actually identify as. These guys have been relaxing in this tank for, I don't know, six months or something now. They're getting kind of big. When we caught them, they were like this big, little tiny, just newly hatched, and they were inside a pool, guys. We actually caught that with my friend, ex cameraman Timmy, who's actually coming back on the channel pretty soon. So these two cute little turtles, Vivian and Fabio, guys, these are my mom's pets. I wanted to just release them, but I knew she would want to keep them when she found them in the pool. I'm just going to go ahead and make a little pond for them with a pond kit that I got from my friend Greg Woodstock and Paul. What we're going to do is unbox this thing. This is a Greg Woodstock, you can see that it says Greg Woodstock Patio Pond. I'm hoping that this whole thing works. I mean, Greg did build this whole thing and this looks gorgeous, so I'm assuming that this little patio pond works too. The box is a little bit messed up because I just opened it a second ago to check to see if everything was in here, but check it out, guys. Cool, so it comes with a filter. Check this out. A water garden filter, guys. I had this thing in storage, so that's how it goes. So the bottom of the filter is right there, and then it squirts water out of the top. Looks cool. It all comes together, guys. This is a Greg Woodstock's product, and he has some good products, guys. So it comes with this secondary piece and a bunch of different attachments, guys. Okay, oh, great. There's a sponge right here. Boom. All right, cool. So that's going to help us filter out the turtle water, which if it gets nasty, then the turtles will have nasty gunk all forming all over them. Let's see the other side. Come on. Oh, just popped right out. Oh, okay, cool. So this looks like a little bit of a, a, it's a carbon casing. Look, check that out. Get really close. There's a carbon casing right there. There's a little bit of carbon. So this filter goes through the sponge, then it goes through carbon. So all this water is going to be crystal clean, guys, just because of this one little pump and this one little filter and this one little machine. You can also have it flat like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to fill this actual pond up and have this sitting just like so. All right, so I'm just going to set this to the side. And now I'm going to rip out the pond. There's not much that comes with this kit, guys, aside from the essentials that you need. So we have the pond starter bacteria. Check that out. That's great. That's going to definitely do good if you don't have a, a lake system right behind you. I'm going to put this over to the side with my filter. And aside from that, guys, that's about it. Wow. Wow. Check that out. Look at that thing. It's just a pot. It's beautiful. It's lightweight, guys. It's actually, I think it's made of fiberglass or something. And it looks like the core. Look, they have a secret little like area right here. Check this out right here. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's hard to see. You thought it was over nice. here. <laughs> Look, check that out. So if I put this whole thing down here on the bottom of this pond or on the side or whatever I do, I can like hide the cord right here. Look. Check that out. That's pretty cool. We're not gonna have any turtles leaving because it has a ledge. Look at check that. Check that out. Nothing's gonna jump out of there or be able to cl climb out because of that ledge. I might even do something with a pond like this and have it floating inside the pond that we already have. Maybe a crystal clear one, maybe one of those like upside down tank dude. We got something cool to build in the next video. So I'm just gonna lift up my pump slash filter. It's so cool that it comes in a compact one little pump system. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep this right over here. It doesn't look like there's any point that the water can come out of this and it's just like a really cool pot and really lightweight guys it, it, it's, it's pretty solid too so i'm so far if it, if it holds water i think this is the best thing for turtles like of all time dinners timmy <laughs> yeah we got some minnows check that out <laughs> there we go the first set of you new humans in the new world all right cool i'm not going to put too much water in here anyway just enough to be right below this little ledge so the turtles can crawl up and sunbathe. Mm -hmm. So let me get a little bit more water and a couple more minnows. Come here, guys. Are we going to have to get some plants for this? Or some plants? You know it. All right, cool. Let's see it. 
I think that should be about good, guys. So that's sick. Sick. That is absolutely awesome. So we have plenty of room for the turtles to run around down there, and we have this little bank. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting a little bit more water in here so they have more room to like forage and do stuff like that and then making another ledge a little bit higher i'm just going to lift this up you guys tell me how this thing fares as far as the pressure and how strong this is obviously with the fish tank you can't even do this so if this can hold all this water in here it's even better than a fish tank anyway one two oh wow this is actually a lot wider than i thought we're actually good to go i think i could just lift this all up with the water and all the fish and we might just be good to go with our pond. Guys, check out our turtles. Let's see if they like their new home. Come on, come on. We're just gonna grab them one by one. These guys are really friendly. They'll eat out of your hand. Sorry, I don't have any food for you, buddy. Until they bite you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. These aren't Joey's turtles. Here's our little guy, number one. This is Fabio, the bigger one. And this is Vivian, the cuter one. Hello, babies. These guys are both super friendly. They both eat out of my hand. The out of my mother's hand. These are my mother's turtles. Like, I'm not here. I'd never touch them. You know, with, for, with her pets, she's a little bit anal in the stuff like she does with. But she politely asked me to get her their, that little turtle pond and set that up for her. So I'm happy to do that for you, Mama. I love you. If it was up to me, I'd put them in the tank. I like them in the tank. It's crystal clear. But, you know, the turtle pond's going to be really cool. So I'm kind of excited that she asked me to do it. It's crazy. Like, they were both oh, just about the same size. I mean, one was a little bit bigger when I caught them. But... I don't know, they're both red ear sliders and they're both really cool. So let's go ahead and take them out to the turtle pond. Come on, come on. Flying turtles through the air. Flying turtles stop and stare. <laughs> come on, I got your turtles. It's almost done. I'll call you when I'm done, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, look, check this out. So we're gonna see how these turtles last, or sorry, last. <laughs> we're gonna see how these turtles do inside the little pond and see how the spacing come on. Check it out. Look at that. That's about the same space as that 20 to 30 gallon. This is cool, and they have like a little cave down there too, so they can crawl up oh, in it wait, and come out. In. Yeah, I know. Oh, look, they both went in the cave. <laughs> look, the, oh my god, look, 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 look from above. You scared him. Look from above, look. Ah, he came out. Did you see him? Did you yes. see him poking his head out? Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> this is definitely turtle <laughs> playtime. Look at that. That is so cool. So they're going in and out of the cave. Look, look, he's, now he's in the next one. Oh look. my gosh. <laughs> it's like that game where you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, whack a mole. Whack a, whack a turtle. Whack a turtle. Whack a turtle. Boop. <laughs> These turtles will eat. So that's really cool, guys. So it looks like they're going to be happy in here. Now I just got to set up the filter and bring this thing inside for its new stand. Guys, I just want to tell you right now, it's the hardest thing trying to get a thumbnail for this. But I think we got a good one. Just going to leave these guys in here now. And then I'm going to set up the filter once I put this thing like all together. We got to lift this bad boy up and take it inside. So let's see. If I've been in the gym, boy. No, you haven't. All day, let's go. All right, guys. Come on. Woo! Woo! Big turtle dragon boy. Woo! But, but yeah, guys, I'm pretty excited. I thought this was gonna be kind of kind of weird, but it's yeah. actually really, really cool. I think I do like this better than the tank. It looks a little bit better, it's a little bit more pleasing on the eyes that like to have this thing outdoors and like it's like a pot. It's, it's cool. The pond is done. I literally had to do absolutely nothing. The filter is amazing because all you got to do is rinse it out. Dude, honestly, Greg, shout out to you, Greg, because this was a really, really good product. This is the best product by far that you have. And uh, I'm not sure how much it is because Greg did give this to me as a gift. I'm going to call Greg, get the link to this on his website, and make sure you guys, if you do want one at home, you guys can pick one up online and order it right to your door. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this right down here. All right, check it out, check it out. The turtles are right there. I like the lighting. Kind of cool. Actually, you know what? Tree. I want to get this underneath here somehow. Maybe under the hole? Maybe under the hole. I'm not sure. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this and manipulate the filter a little bit. So I'm going to have the water jetting like just to circulate it. I'm just going to have it shooting that way. That'll be good. Just make sure that they have their room. They can easily get in and out from underneath there. And that'll be sick. All right, cool. And now what I want to do is I want to get this cord back here but I don't want them to be disrupted by the cord so I think I'm going to just have to push this cord back here and I'll just tape it up underneath here once I'm done with it and that'll be oh my gosh that's yeah. gonna look that's gonna look great so right now just to test this out we're gonna go ahead and plug it in without doing all the taping and stuff three two and 
21. Whoa. Oh, crap. <laughs> that looked like me when I was a teenager. All right, cool. So the pond is actually flowing. Look at that flow. Jesus. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid flow, guys. And we got the turtles in here, so that's definitely going to circulate that water heavily, and it's going to be able to filter all of it. So that's great. Obviously, this water is aged. This water is perfect. It's pond water. It doesn't get better than this for turtles. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape this up now, right underneath here, and that's all there is to it. It's going to look absolutely perfect and great. That's really cool. It's a really cool setup. Thank you so much, Greg. I'm going to put the link to this product in the description below just because it's so good, and that's really awesome. That's really cool. So... Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, slap a like on it. Because everyone says slap a like on YouTube. And I like saying slap a like. Slap a like. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Fabio and Vivian are somewhere down here playing peekaboo. Stay tuned to the next one. We got some jet ski fishing coming up, guys. And catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all.